there are some advantages of running around you can check your anchor you can clean the bottom of your boat and if it's healed there's another advantage you can go up your boat really easy <laughs> so healed i'm roberta and i'm duke and after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life it's finally time to start exploring so don't forget to subscribe and to join us every sunday for a new episode Time for some fun. You know what this yellow hat means? That means you are gonna go in the water. It's time for kite surfing. Let's go. So today I'm gonna try foiling for the second time. Yeah, push it down, push it down. <laughs> this time on our dinghy. Let's see if our dinghy is strong enough to tow our friend's foil. New tie. One more. One more. <laughs> the best part of life. <laughs> the next step on the challenge today is to get this stand-up pedal and go with the wind. We'll see. Yeah, let's let's try. <laughs> I, I don't guarantee I can do anything, but I will try at least. much fun I think I can learn it is open. I can buy one now <laughs> I was in doubt of buying one but I, I can buy one now where do you want to put this I have no idea but we can put some more <laughs> we need to replace the boat for another one sure but we need to buy one <laughs> We're gonna go on a mission now. The one sad thing there is on boating life and cruising life is saying goodbye to friends. And today is this friend's turn. Some friends are leaving, other friends are arriving. Arriving. <laughs> One going in, the other one going out. Ciao! 
Now let's say hello to our other friends. <laughs> Not to go far though, there's something that we really really want to do, it's been a long time, we dream on the day we can do that. Now you're ready. Support's arriving. Primeira vez da porra do ódio. Welcome! <laughs> time for the truth, let's see if we can do this, that's gonna be awesome. I wanna see odd. oh I cannot tell you yet. This is gonna be so cool! Nervous? <laughs> Dropping the anchor! Can you guess what we are doing? <laughs> Dropping the stern anchor? Look, he's pulling the boat out of the sandbank. So Zai is gonna push us on this side and Duke is gonna pull the cable on the other side. Yay! It's official! We're right by the channel. Let's hope we're in the right position. That's gonna be a little bit scary. Tomorrow we are gonna be on the dry, on the sand. We are really in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> this, in a couple hours, is gonna be just sand. It's really dark, but you can see that we made it. We are right on the top of the sand bank. The channel is right here, and the boat's right there. We made it! <laughs> for the first time, we dry out our boat. I mean, not yet, we are waiting for, <laughs> but it's already really cool. And the sunset just beautiful. The moon? Yeah, the moon is just awesome. As our fridge needs salt water to cool down, we needed to turn it off as we are gonna dry the boat. Our freezer is not working as a freezer, it's not creating any ice, but we can use it as a fridge. So now I'm gonna put everything that I think can go bad from the fridge to the freezer. Like yogurt. So now we just need to be patient. We have right now 0.7 meters below the lowest part of the hull of the boat. That means we still need to wait for, I don't know, like maybe two, three hours until we touch the bottom. I think like two hours. But while we do that, we need food, right? Yeah. Leftovers so, to have less things inside the fridge. And also because we need to be really well fed because tonight we have a lot of work. We're going to scrape the hull at midnight today. Long night. Long night. The reason for that is because we're going to stay here until tomorrow so that means we can scrape the hole during the night and then the tide's gonna go up again, it's gonna clean the bottom and then mm, tomorrow lunchtime is gonna be a beautiful odd with no barnacles, with no green on the boat and we can take pictures. A new node. A new node. I already organized some things to take with us tonight. Tripod for oh, We have a light bulb. Things. We have a light bulb, an extension and Let's see what we can do. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. I'm just like really anxious. <laughs> I just keep looking to the you know the tide and it's just not moving yet. That was so quick. We forgot about the draft for like I don't know half an hour and suddenly dot dot dot. That means we are probably touching the ground. Dot, dot, dot. Yes. Already. Yes. In like 20 minutes. I think it was like 20 minutes. Yeah. Let's pee while we can use the toilet because the toilet uses salt water to fill up and it's not gonna be possible. So. 
See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> it's 10 p.m. The tide's gonna go down to 11 p.m. So let's check how it is right now. I don't know if the camera can see, but we can. I can see the bottom already. It's like I think there's like this much of water. Oh, I wanna go down. It's almost not touching the water. <laughs> Ooh, we have a lot of barnacles. Calm down, calm down. Let's work. Getting Let's get to work. We have quite a lot of barnacles, as you can tell. But at least it's not that hard to take out. It's actually really simple. Check this out. How about the heat exchanger for the fridge? No barnacles at all, actually. Seems like prop speed is working really well because there's no barnacles. Just like a little bit of green growth. Let the fun begin. Our node is really good. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm glad we are doing this out of the water. <laughs> Just crazy. It doesn't even seem we're in the same place as last night, but we are. Right now is the high tide, so we are just floating again. But we're not gonna leave yet because we want to dry the boat again during the day because we need to take a beautiful picture of the boat on the dry, right? And during the night, it's not was not that easy to take a picture. And also because I want to give a less clean on the hole before we leave. But good news is we're gonna float again because right now the tide's like one meter below the boat That means it's gonna be really easy to leave later today, but let's wait a little bit more Good morning! Today is day two of drying the boat and Duke is putting the camera there to do a time lapse of the boat drying and we are gonna start working on the bottom of the boat. See you soon! The tide's going down, it's like a river here. It's better to do this inside the water or with the water on your waist. Oh, the water. Oh, here is so much easier. <laughs> but I mean, we need to be quick because otherwise it gets uh, dry yeah. and if I'm it's gonna dry, help. it's worse. Sometimes people say that having a center board is something else to take care of it, something else to maintain. But on the other hand, check this out. We're like almost on the dry already. Just one more hour and we're gonna be 100% on the dry and that's so cool. And that's only possible because of the center board. If we had a normal, regular kill, we would not be able to do that. That's just so cool. I love it. Yeah, I dreamed for so many years on having a boat that we could do that. I used to read a lot of books and people would mention that they dry their boats out. I'm like, oh, that would be so awesome. And now finally, I mean like, I think 10 years ago, I already was thinking about that. And now finally, oh, it's right there, getting 
to the dry, really close to be on the dry. Someone is working really hard today, check this out. It's not hard because it's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, at least it's a warm day, you know, it's sunny, beautiful. Last night was a little bit cold in the end. In the beginning it was not cold at all, in the end it was a little bit cold. So now we're just enjoying the day. We could do this more often. of running around. You can check your anchor. You can clean the bottom of your boat. And if it's healed, there's another advantage. You can go up your boat really easy. <laughs> so healed. I don't know if you can see how much the boat is healed right now, but it's just like it's amazing. We're like literally sideways. to be standing on the dry and seeing Odd right there also on the dry. Successful mission. Robert is working a lot though. He's like a workaholic. I'm, I've been just running around making videos, pictures and everything because you know we need to rest for this moment and Robert is like a machine. Check this out. <laughs> I'm having so much fun that I can't stop doing this. Yeah so what Robert is doing just you know taking out the green growth of the hole because you didn't see it but last night I did the entire boat myself it took all the hard growth and now it's the soft growth and in order to do that you need to be really patient you didn't look you didn't take anything from the bottom and I'm True. taking yeah because last night the boat was straight and right now the boat is just healing and it's easier to go under the boat and do the job the idea is to take the main anchor and put like a little bit far that way so that in that way we're gonna drift back and then we just can retrieve the anchor easier. I think it's gonna be all good. That we need to take out the stern anchor before the tide starts going up because otherwise we're not gonna retrieve that anchor. It's just so far deep on the sand that I don't believe we can do that on the boat. It's gonna be really, really tricky. Can you help me, baby? I think we should take the anchor now. So here's the line. And where is the anchor? I don't know. Seems like our stern anchor works really well. Such a good anchor, babe. Really happy with the stern anchor we have. It always works. Hey! You did it! Hope I did it. Thanks so much, babe. I really appreciate the adventure. Me but too. No, <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid of the way out. Today, the high tide is lower than yesterday and hopefully it's high enough to take us out of this little sand bank. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> So our friends came to visit us and brought us some food that's just so awesome. So we have tuna, some eggs, dry grape, chickpeas. Hmm. It's a full salad. And 
just like that we are floating again. You. Right now we are floating but we are in between two sand banks. We need to float a little bit more in order to go around and go to the channel that's right there. Time to move. So we are passing by the end of the sand bank. It's like right here, I believe. And we're doing really good. Right now we have 0 0.8 meters under the boat. So 0 0.9. I think we are on the channel already. One meter, 1.1. I think we did it. We made it. <laughs> Successful mission. Yes, check. One of the goals was to go to a waterfall. We did it. Dry the boat, we did it. Now we need to go to the Caribbean. That's the next one. Go to the Caribbean. Caribbean it is. Oh, yeah, see, you see, it's one hand and one other on the camera. made it i guess we can call a successful mission that was an awesome experience that i've been wanting for years to do that and you know i always dream on having a boat that we had a center board that we could dry out the boat but in theory is one thing in practice a completely different thing like the water hitting and the boat shaking until it's like stop it suddenly stops for a long time and then moves again it's really good it can stop straight it can stop hilly you know <laughs> But it's fun anyways. I mean, it's a different view to walk around your boat on the dry. It's just, I think everyone should try that one day. I mean, if it's possible, not every boat. If you have a center board. That's the good thing about having a center board. The sunset is amazing. The view from here the is, amazing. is amazing. And everyone's amazing. Here, the community is so cool. The guys from Stella Marina, they were just so awesome to let us stay for a couple of days there and fill up with the water tank, use the dinghy docky and everything. You guys are awesome. That was just really, really, really good. And our friends are right here. So there are morning boys right in front of us. Actually, they are right here. <laughs> True. Yeah, and you can see the most beautiful catamaran in the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. You.